So guys, today is the day for Summer Game Fest and of course the day where we get to see Modern Warfare 2 2022's official gameplay and the first look at the actual gameplay for it as well. It is a campaign mission, apparently it's around 8 minutes long, so it should show us quite a lot of things like combat, some of the new things that are going to be in the game. Without further ado though guys, let's get straight into the gameplay and react to it together. This October, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 oh, arrived. Oh, here we go. Infinity Ward is once again returning to its roots for a modern day action game. And today we're about to show you the world premiere of its gameplay with a level playthrough. Let's go. Tell us more, let's head to the port of Long Beach to check in with Johanna Ferris, the head of Call of Duty. Hi everyone. In 2019, Modern Warfare changed everything and on october 28th we usher in a new era of call of duty with the launch of modern warfare 2. we are back we are bigger and we are bringing the entire team price gaz soap alejandro and of course ghost Same. we needed a stage big enough to debut call of duty in a whole new way inspired by the world we're about to enter oil rigs cargo ships and staggering odds are just the beginning. Here is Modern Warfare 2. Let's go. Really looking forward to the story this year. <gasps> oh, it's an oil rig mission. Okay. See, from the, from the teaser trailer, this looks like a stealth mission. I really hope we get a lot of stealth missions in there. Oh, the Vector confirmed. Big aim assisting campaign. <laughs> Ooh, the weapon sound. We weapon sounds are good, you know. Hmm. I love these clearance missions. I really hope there's more of these in the game too. There's a P90 in one of the hands as well. Yeah, P90, MP5. Oh wait, no, I think that's the M4. Ghost, we're moving to the main deck. What's your status? Boarding the ship with Shadow 3 now. Roger that. Ooh. Ooh, is, is he behind cover? Oh, I think that I think that just said modify attachments on the left. I think you can equip and unequip attachments on the fly. So maybe that's the DMZ mode coming into play there as well. Molotov there as well. Oh, kilo. Is that the kilo or is that the ACR? Okay, slide-ins back. 
We haven't seen tax sprint yet, though. Oh, actually, I think that's the scar. Can't quite tell. The sprinting's different, though. It's not as... F Look, it's just very it's different. It's an the animation of it is different. Nice. Flashbang. More Molotovs. Okay. Where are the controls? On that damn ship. Actually, we got a problem. This is somewhere on the ship. You have your orders, son. Stop that launch. Now this is like the COD 4 mission crew expendables going on this ship. This is really cool game design. If this was COD f five years ago, all of these containers would stay in one spot. They wouldn't move. Guarantee. Oh. That's a shotgun from Modern Warfare. Okay, leanings back. Gun sounds in different environments. It looks good. The game looks good. It seems extremely slow as well. Like, very slow. Campaign wise, very slow paced. Maybe that's on purpose. Oh, don't do this. Show us some more. Talk about it more. Pre -order now and get early access to the open Will there be more? Oh, that's it. Oh, no. That's what we're talking about. Here we go. And joining us now, up from Long Beach, Johanna, great to see you. How's everything? It's great. Thanks. Uh, great to have you with us. And also Jeff from uh, Infinity Ward. So we saw the first gameplay. Thanks for that extended sequence. Looks incredible. Uh, Jeff, tell us a bit about that mission. Uh, where is that set in the game? What are we seeing there? Absolutely. So um, first of all, we're really excited to welcome back uh, Captain John Price and uh, uh, Gaz uh, Garrick. Um, you know, they're not re they're not actually in what we just saw today, but uh, they're returning members from 141. And then the other two characters uh, that were you may recognize from the older franchise that we're reimagining are uh, Simon Ghost Riley and, uh, of course, uh, Soap John McTavish. 
Um, and then a couple other new characters in here that we're really excited uh, that we got to uh, create for this game. Um, first, uh, Commander Philip Graves and uh, Mexican Special Forces uh, Colonel Alejandro. And Alejandro, I gotta say, we're, it's a character we're really excited about. He's a guy who's super capable and a guy uh, who's just as important as Task Force 141. Um, but as far as the level's concerned, um, you know, this, I, I got a shout out to, to IW. You know, this was tr a tremendous collaboration across all of the, the different uh, disciplines. As you saw, everybody coming together, some really uh, motivated devs here. And, uh, you know, you saw the, the wind and the uh, animations. Yeah, it looked really good. Awesome sound design. And, of course, our new water tech, which is actually pushing the boat in different directions. Mm. It's creating a physically dynamic environment, allowing for the cover you were seeing. In certain cases, you could be behind cover and then suddenly that cover would shift and leave you exposed but it also leaves the enemy exposed creating this emergent gameplay um, so mm -hmm. again I'm, I'm very excited just can't wait that not sure how that would work in multiplayer but campaign yeah, is really good into where things are gonna go uh, Johanna tell us a bit about Call of Duty overall Modern Warfare 2 obviously you know we're so excited that it's back this year but you've got lots going on across Call of Duty what can we expect from you guys this year yeah we um, first of all thanks for having us here we're just so excited for October 28th it's such a big moment, not just for Modern Warfare 2 and everything that Jeff and the team at Infinity Ward have built, but it really marks the step change, what we're calling a transformational moment for the entire franchise. You're gonna see incredible rendering, incredible graphics, all the things just within the game itself, built all on one shared engine now, across Warzone and Modern Warfare 2 going forward. Of course, there's a lot of chatter and interest about the new Warzone experience. We're affectionately calling it Warzone 2.0. Um, there will be um, a standalone experience of Warzone for current existing um, players as well. So we're gonna sort of feed the entire community there, but all eyes on the 28th. Um, and again, I think the collaboration's just been incredible. Everybody's so excited for Task Force 141. Um, Warzone coming to mobile as well for players on the go. We're, we're on Steam, as you know, I mean, so yeah. it's just a big moment and there's gonna be a lot more to come in the, in the months to follow. Well, before we, we leave, we got to ask a little bit about Warzone 2. I know we just, you know, we're Go on then. play here on this, but can you tell us anything? There was a little bit, it seems like there was a little bit of a tease maybe in the trailer yesterday. Or yeah, when we're seeing that from the community, we love when the fans can pick up some things, um, some chatter about maybe seeing high rise and, and other elements. But we will get into the details of Warzone 2.0 for sure. It will be an extension of the Modern Warfare 2 universe. Yeah. So all the more reason why we think this game this moment is, is such an important uh, title for all of us looking looking ahead. And like we said, we're having a bold vision around the entire future for the franchise. So we're in, we're in position, we're really excited. All right, well, we're looking forward to October. Thanks so much for giving us a first look at the gameplay, Call of Duty, Modern Warfare 2. Thanks, Johanna and Jeff. Um, all right, well, we've got lots more summer games. Boom, well, there we have it. Looks really, really good. As I mentioned, a couple of comments I made throughout the gate, the actual design for the weapon sounds, the animations are really, really good. We've seen a couple of different hints here and there of things that you might be able to do, like equip attachments on the fly to your weapons and change them in game, how they work, change your approach to different things as well. And yeah, it looked really, really good. I'm really excited. There's not much else to say, really. We had a very limited amount of gameplay to look at and to go through. But let me know your thoughts and opinions down below, nevertheless. Again, we are going to get more gameplay as it comes along and no doubt creators will be flowing out or given the opportunity to play before anyone else so be sure to be on the lookout for that as well because gameplay will be about there as well but yeah let me know down below subscribe if you guys are brand new loads of content coming this year so i'll be covering everything on the channel in a lot of detail guys have a great day we'll speak to you all in the next one